Anybody looking to become part of the royal family should know it comes with some strict rules. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 surprising things you didn't know the royals have to follow. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at interesting customs, rules, and regulations that the British royal family has reportedly adopted over the years. Number 10. They have to pack some black. When members of the royal family travel, they have to be prepared for anything, including something quite morbid. Allegedly, all members are required when traveling abroad to pack an all-black outfit in case someone else in the family passes away and they're forced to go into official mourning. The protocol is that they would have that ensemble to change into for their travels home, so that when they return to British soil, they would be appropriately dressed. On The Crown, Elizabeth has to deal with this very issue when she's out of the country when her father dies. Number 9. They have to cross their legs a certain way. As far as traditional etiquette goes, crossing your legs at the knee is one of the biggest breaches a proper lady can make. While it may be comfortable, that position lends itself to showing a little too much skin if the camera catches you at the wrong angle. Instead, members of the royal family either cross their legs at the ankle or do not cross them at all. In fact, a term has been coined for one of Kate Middleton's favorite sitting positions, the Duchess Slant. This is when both knees are together and are angled slightly to one side for maximum modesty. Number 8. They have to learn how to hold a teacup. If there's one place where etiquette lessons hold strong, it's at the dining table. There are countless rules for how a table should be laid out and how different items should be served. And of course, there's nothing more quintessentially British than tea. The way one holds a teacup is important, with their thumbs and index fingers grasping the handle at the top. Similarly, when it comes time to eat, they have to hold their forks in their left hand and knife in their right, no matter whether they were born left-handed or not. Number 7. They have to stop eating when the queen is done. If you ever find yourself dining alongside the queen, you'd better eat quickly because you may not have much time to finish each course. Technically, this rule only applies to members of the royal family, but outsiders should be aware of it nonetheless. The rule of thumb is to always keep your eyes on the queen and mimic her actions. For example, when she puts down her utensils to signal she's finished with a dish, everyone else at the table should do the same. And if you don't, know that servers will be around quickly to clear things away. Number 6. They can't have physical contact with the public. Officially, the royal family maintains that there are no hard and fast rules for meeting members, but in practice, there are many customs that are considered appropriate to adhere to. One of these involves physical contact, which is largely considered a no-no. Many people, from Michelle Obama to LeBron James, have breached this unspoken rule by going in for a hug or casually throwing an arm around a shoulder. But each instance has caused a minor uproar in the press. You can see in Kate Middleton's face she's unsure how to handle this sort of behavior. Number 5. They can't travel long distances together This is one rule that may seem sinister, but all things considered makes a lot of sense. In a custom that's been around for many years, it's not advised that members of the royal family, specifically those in the line of succession, travel together. This is because of the potential dangers involved and the ramifications if more than one royal heir were to perish at the same time. In the mid-2010s, Prince William has flouted this rule by traveling with his family regularly. Though some may see this rule as archaic, others still criticize his decision to do so. What's important to note is that the queen always has final say. Number 4. They follow a strict dress code since she came into the spotlight due to her relationship with Prince William, Kate Middleton, now the Duchess of Cambridge, has been lauded for her impeccable fashion sense. While she definitely brings something fresh to the mix, it's important to remember that she's always following clearly laid out guidelines for how the royals dress. They aren't allowed to wear colored nail polish, shouldn't be caught in jeans, and have to be careful what their chosen headpieces signify. And have you ever wondered why Prince George is always seen in shorts? That's because long pants on children is considered to be suburban. Number 3. They follow the order of precedence Many of the rules on our list today are more like strong suggestions than hard and fast regulations, but this one's something that is really never deviated from. The royal order of precedence is paramount in the British royal family, 
and dictates things like walking in processions, seating arrangements for meals, and who bows and curtsies to whom. Queen Elizabeth II actually mixed up the generally accepted order in 2005, downgrading the Duchess of Cornwall's place. This caused some minor controversy, and issues stemming from the order of precedence continue to be in the news today. Number 2. They Don't Vote Considering the role that the British royal family has in society and the close ties it has to all aspects of British life, it may be surprising to learn that the royals don't actually take part in a standard civic duty. Legally, there's nothing that states the Queen or other royals are prohibited from voting, but in practice, it simply isn't done. According to the website of the government of the UK, quote, it is considered unconstitutional for the monarch to vote in an election. Similarly, it would be considered untoward for a member of the family to run for office. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. They Can't Use Nicknames Just like in Game of Thrones, real-life royals sometimes have crazy long titles. The monarch we simply know as Queen Elizabeth II, her full proper title is Her Majesty Elizabeth II, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and of her other realms and territories, Queen Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith. That's quite a mouthful. But don't get caught calling her Liz or Lizzie, because it's considered bad form to use any nicknames or pet names for any member of the royal family. Music